lovely morning this morning. Had rain the last couple of days, sort of off and on. But uh, she's beautiful, not a cloud in the sky as far as I can see. It was really nice from up high. You could see, see for miles, of course, but uh, all the fog was just sitting in the gullies and stuff. It looked magnificent. Anyway, um, I'm out in this long grass here, trying to get the coil through it. And Anyway, I got, I got a couple of um, bullets just up there, and then I got a signal here, and I thought oh, it was probably just another bullet. But I've now dug it down about, oh, probably three or four inches, and signal's still in there. So this is looking promising. Well, that's sounding lovely, isn't it? This is what the country looks like. As you can see, there's a lot of long grass. It's very difficult. You've got to really persist. Sun's just over there, and here's the hole. All right. Some sort of bigger boulders in here, too. Mixed it, mixed it. Right, so, look at that gravel in there. That's, that's nice looking gravel, that. Right. It's lovely. Look at these bigger rocks stuck in there as well. Very difficult to do one handed, but I think the signal was sort of straight in this sort of area here. Look at that, look at that lovely stuff. Magnificent. Okay, just, just there somewhere. So let's get the scoop. There. Okay, got it there. All right, we should surely be able to see it here somewhere. Let's do this. I certainly hope it's gold. I'm going to be really disappointed if it's not gold. I'm telling you, oh, well, I can't see it. Worries me a little bit. I did wonder how could anything get down there that deep if it's not gold? Can't be that big. I can't even see it. How come I can't see it? God, it's got me worried. It's got me really worried. Oh, it's out. What the heck? Oh, it's not that, is it? Oh, oh, oh. That's heavy. Oh. It is that. Oh, wait a bit. It just looks like a piece of dirt. Oh, yeah. I can see yellow. Oh, yeah. Bit of uh, crap stuck to it. It's a chunky bit. I don't want that's going away. That that's oh, that's nice. That's real nice. I don't know if you can see the yellow there, but it's all yellow coming through there now. Oh yeah, beautiful. Anyway, I'll clean it up. But that's a nice chunk. That good stuff. Well, it's quarter to six in the evening now, and I've just got back to the vehicle. I didn't end up filming any more bits this afternoon but uh, I did get quite a few more pieces so I'll show you that now and I'll show you that chunk I got earlier put some uh, water in there some of my drink earlier so they've all been nicely cleaned a little bit good haul for the day eh really nice really good and that, that chunk there that's the big fella and I got a few nice other pieces as well as you can see there so um, it's going to be interesting getting them on the scales. That big one there, I'm assuming, should go 10 grams. And now, yeah, moment of truth. How big is this big fella? Ah, lovely. Half ounce. <laughs> That's magnificent, isn't it? All right, let's work them all on. There you have it. Beautiful. Over an ounce. I was hoping to get that. Lovely. <laughs> Quite funny, look at these fellas, a whole bunch of young ones. And they're quite curious, they're really close, they're only like 20 metres away. The funny thing about most wild animals is that when you spot one from your vehicle, as long as you remain in the car, they'll often stay quite relaxed and may even come closer for a better look. 
but usually the moment you step out they'll take off. Of course there's always exceptions, but generally, to most wild animals, humans are considered danger, but vehicles not so much. Isn't that marvellous? If you're on foot, it can be quite difficult to get this close to wild emus, especially when there's a whole bunch of young ones. Mind you, these ones are not all that young now. They're almost as big as mum, or I should say probably dad, as it's usually the male that looks after the young in emus. The female can lay up to 15 eggs in a clutch, so sometimes you can see quite a number of birds in one group. Lovely morning again. See a bit of mist lying in the valleys. Just checking out this new track. This has only been here for, oh, probably not even a week. So, uh, interesting leads down to that big valley down there. This is quite a narrow ridge, this, right on the very top. You can see down into there. Very narrow. I hope there's somewhere to turn around down here because she's pretty steep down. Yeah, quite a bit of fog down here. Um, this morning I'm coming through this country through here, and finally, it's about lunchtime now, I get a little signal over there, and sure enough, it's a little piece of gold, probably about 0 0.7 of a gram, something like that, and then down near the creek just got another little teeny weeny, just a mini minor piece, probably 0.1 or 2 of a gram. And so I'm scouring through this country here, and no more signals, and I'm starting to think, oh, it's only a couple more random pieces. And then suddenly I get a signal just down here below me. And I dug down about, I've probably gone down 3 or 4 inches, and it's still in the hole. So it's sounding promising. Sounds like it's in the middle of the hole. All right, good. I can hear a rattle, but whether that's it could be just a stone rattling, might be that rock there rattling. I can still hear a rattle. Mm, sounding good. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, it's out. I can see it. I just see an edge of yellow there. That's it right there. Right there. That is it. Yep. Nice chunk. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Beauty. Beauty. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> I was hoping it's going to be a bit bigger, of course, as we always do. But... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that nice chunk. Very smooth, like it's been worn. All right, very good. Well, here's something unusual. Certainly don't expect to find this when you're metal detecting up these dry creeks. It's a turtle, or a tortoise. I've forgotten which way around they are now, but he's just started moving. I've been watching him for about 10 minutes, and he hardly moved a skerrick. But now, he must have got cramp, and he's moving his foot around a bit. Just incredible what you find up these dry creeks. He'll be looking forward to some rain, no doubt. Give you an idea how big he is. Oh, he's just about to walk, but I've got my hand in. Oops, Daisy. Oops, he didn't like me getting too close there, did he? Well, there we go. It's all right, fella. Not here to hurt you. Look at that. Oh, yeah, lovely. He's about, about my hand span long. Daisy, so Daisy, making a bit of trouble getting through those rocks by the look of it. Okay, let's see. So there, yeah, it's about my hand span. I've seen the odd shell from dead ones over the time frame, but this is the first live one I've seen actually out of water. Very cool. Very, very cool. How's that for one day's haul? Fifty-five pieces. <laughs> Extraordinary. Another few big chunks up there as well. Let's see how much that weighs for one day's work. Oh yeah, nice. Twelve. Excellent. Alright, I'll chuck them all on. 
she's looking good, she's looking good. Let's look at that. <laughs> Over time we've still got these chunks here. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Yeah, we're over two ounces. And chuck that one on there, over there. Look at that. One day's work. That's fantastic. A few people have asked me to show what my camp setup is like. Well, that's it right there. I haven't got a tent or a trailer or even an annex. If we look in the back door, you'll notice that I've removed the rear seats and made a bed in the back here. So all my food and stuff, my detector, I kept under the bed and my water containers are here i've also got another two water containers on the roof a bit of a cabinet just here I'm putting a few things in and a little bit of a bench to work on i do a bit of a shuffle around each night and put everything on the bed there into the front seats so i've got a bit more room i don't have a fridge or freezer or any way to cool food so as you can imagine everything ends up pretty warm including my water uh, mostly eating just dried and canned food so you can imagine how much you look forward to a good meal when you get back to town. But as you can imagine, it's not the most comfortable. However, the way I see it is, if it was too comfortable, I'd probably spend too much time in camp. After all, I'm here to find gold, not to uh, sit around here. So that's it. There you go, there's the water containers on the roof. A few other bits and pieces up there. Very basic, but it does the job. Well, I've been having a pretty quiet time of it the last couple of weeks. Hardly got anything at all, just the odd little piece here and there, but nothing of any consequence. And then finally last night, I was just over here a bit, and just got a little spot where I got about three little pieces, and had to leave before dark. And then I thought I'll come back to more this morning, see if there's anything else nearby, and... Nothing in that vicinity, but just over here, across a bit of a dip, just over there I got a nice little patch, I suppose you call it a little patch, I got quite a few little bits, and then one nice chunk, which I'll show you in a second, and then a whole lot of trash, just where the old timers have left all their tin and rubbish everywhere, and it's just a bit of a nightmare, so I've been trying to avoid it and look for any signals that don't sound like trash <laughs> which is hard to do <laughs> but anyway um, I just came down the side here and I'm in the creek now just about everything I find in the creek is trash like 99% of it however I dug a target in the sort of the bit of the bank here and I'll just do a little reenactment for you of what happened here but um, I'll show you those pieces and oh yesterday I uh, got quite close to a big brown snake, which gave me the heebie-jeebies. I was just detecting through some real long grass. Next thing there he is, only like two or three feet in front of the coil, just going slowly ahead of me, about two metres long he would have been. Ooh, it gives you the shivers. That's why I wear these snake guards. I don't know if you can see them there. I'll just tilt the camera down. See these... these uh, snake gators or whatever they call them and um, just gives me a little bit more confidence going through all the long grass and stuff especially when it gets a bit warmer so I've got to do this one handed again okay, get rid of that. and there you go I'll get that in the sun maybe so a few little bits there pretty happy with that that's a nice chunk that one real nice look at that beauty all right I'll show you what's in this hole so sitting down on the bottom there on the clay is a nice chunk of gold now I'll just be a bit careful here because there was a scorpion walking around here a minute ago and I don't know where he's gone <laughs> anyway um, that there that is the chunk of gold sitting right on the nice clay surface there and that is that look at that how's that for nice let's get it in the sun Oh, what a beauty. It's an all sort of knobbly, chunky bit. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right. 
Very good. Oh crikey that fire came through fast. I was just detecting up the creek here and you could smell the smoke and all that but that's been going on for days. But uh, I took my headphones off and you could hear the loud crackling and I thought wow that sounds quite close. Blow me down. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera there but a whole wall of flames coming across here. It's going down in the creek and then up the other side behind me up here as well. So I might made a beeline out that way. Fortunately, that's my way out and <laughs> not back up there. <laughs> Very impressive. Surprising how fast it comes through. Bit of a breeze behind it coming down. So, yeah. What was surprising also is a whole, you know, a whole lot of, um, well, some sort of raptors, hawks, or falcons, or whatever they are. Six of them were circling around. I think they look for lizards and things that are escaping the fire, and they can see them and pick them up. <laughs> Quite impressive. Anyway, I better get moving. All right, it's only about, it's not much more than 100 metres away. Okay, it's weigh-in time. You know, I've just given them a bit of a clean with water and a toothbrush. And that one's come out really nice. I mean, surely it's got to be a six grams. Oh, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> 11 grams. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Oh, yes, yeah, it's a beauty piece, all right. Okay, so what is this way? I said it's got to be over 10. Oh, surely it's got to be over 10. Oh, 15. Marvellous. Ha <laughs> ha. Basically half ounce. Wow, that's magnificent, isn't it? All right, let's check all these other bits on. And we have... Look at that, <laughs> bang on an ounce, that's amazing isn't it, bang on an ounce, 31.1, what a marvellous day, excellent. Well it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and it's been a great day for detecting, it's quite overcast and I believe it's supposed to rain tomorrow, I, th I think there's actually a fair bit of rain coming, that's if it hits here, anyway um, nice breeze every now and then. Uh, got a few bits this morning, just little stuff, um, about probably four, I think, four little pieces. Um, one of them's in a little chunk of quartz, <laughs> but only amount to probably a couple of grams. Anyway, I've got a signal down here, and it's very loud. I expect it's going to be a piece of tin or something. However... I've uh, decided to film it. I've already dug the hole down and it's still in the hole. It's quite a nice sounding signal, but it's very loud, so no doubt it'll be trash. Um, I've done this so many times, started filming something and then got it out and it's just trash, so I end up deleting it. So if this ends up trash, this will be deleted as well. Anyway, have a listen to this and we'll see, see what we come up with. See if it's a horseshoe or something similar. Quite a pretty spot really in this gully. All that long grass up there of course that makes it really difficult. Okay so there's the hole. Uh, there's my pile of dirt. As you can see it's about a foot down and it was a you know fairly loud signal from the start as you can hear. But it's a sort of nice, clean sounding signal, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so anyway, and this is what it sounds like now. See, I'm down, down the bottom there, I'm actually down to the clay, so listen to this. So if you can hear that, it's, it's pretty ridiculous, really. To expect it to be gold because that's a serious signal but um, anyway like I say if it's actually in the bottom there somewhere okay I'll put that down and let's grab the pick give it a dig All right. actually it's it's a bit difficult um, I may have to put the camera down because I'm trying to do this with one hand 
it's not going to be that easy actually it's still loose there but down the bottom there it's actually clay there's a big root there too in the middle which hopefully I can get around without chopping into it yeah I'm going to have to put this down this is my good pick now after breaking the other one <laughs> this is a nice one just got the real long handle makes it a bit hard to carry but it's all good all right I'll give it a dig and a scrape out and then we'll see if it's in there or not okay let's give it another thingy see what happens oh huh it's out <laughs> so it's a good sign oh yep yeah, she's there well I didn't see a horseshoe <laughs> or I didn't see any bits of tin so oh well maybe it's a big rusty bolt or something I don't know seems to be right pretty much right on the pile right in the middle <laughs> well, this will be interesting oh got it first pop oh you're kidding me wait a second oh, are you serious serious look at it look at it oh I can't believe that I can't believe that look at it <gasps> flaming I never would have dreamed that that was going to be gold Man, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Of course, it's got it's got quartz. That's quartz all around the outside. But you can see the gold. Look at it. You are kidding me. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Oh, oh flaming heck. Way to that. The heck with that way. Oh, man. That's the second biggest piece I've ever got. I'll give that a clean up when I get back to the vehicle with the toothbrush. Wash it with water. And that's all yellow there, all through there. See bits of it coming through everywhere. God, I don't know what that's going to weigh. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> okay, so I've given it a clean with the toothbrush and water. You can clearly see the gold all coming out now. All through it. It's got a good gold content, all right. But what I've done is I've got a piece of quartz here, similar size, and it's actually slightly heavier than that type of quartz. This is a quite a heavy rock. But I thought if I weigh that, and whatever that weighs, I'll take the weight of that off this, and that should give me a rough idea of the gold content. I'll switch this on. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, beautiful. What's that way? That's uh, 206 grams. That is uh, 7, 3, 7, 21. So it's sort of, you know, 10 or 11 grams under uh, 7 ounces. How magnificent is that? <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> All right, take that off. Grab this. Oh, what is that way? All right, so that is just under just under three ounces roughly so if we deduct three ounces off this that leaves us around four ounces of gold excellent very happy one thing that's very different about up here as opposed to where i've been in western australia is that there's far more access to water when it's required even in the winter dry season some of the larger creeks will still have the odd pool of water in them while some may still even be flowing. And of course there also seems to be quite a few lakes dotted around which hold plenty of water all the time. So I imagine the animals must find it far more bearable during the hotter periods up here than back over there. Well, I've got an interesting spot here. I actually got quite a few ounces off this patch, just off a small area here. But uh, once I'd done it thoroughly off the surface, I actually decided to come back with the pick and shovel and take about a foot off the surface 
just for curiosity, see if there's anything lower down. And I have actually done that several times before, and usually it just doesn't pay off. I don't get anything else. But this time it did pay off. So in this area here, I got, uh, oh, I don't know, it's like, it's about seven meters across that I've done, and then a few meters wide, and I've actually got over two ounces out of it. All small stuff, it's all stuff that I couldn't pick up from the surface. Um, most of it, like subgram is 0 0.1, 0 0.2 type of stuff. Uh, the biggest one I think was uh, four grams. But now, it's interesting, I've actually got a signal over here, which I'll give you a listen to in a sec. It's quite interesting. It's a lot louder than any of the signals I've had in the last few days here. A funny sound. Oh, it's a nice sound. <laughs> Alright, I'll just put this down and go and grab my pick. Alright. Uh, that one one handed job again, but I don't think it's far away. I think it'll be just just here somewhere now. It's nice gravel. It's quite soft, surprising. It's sort of sandy amongst it as well. But I imagine it'll be just coming up here. I think it'll be just in this lot here. I don't see it yet, but... Just there somewhere. Alright, that sun's quite bright. There you go, got it first time. Let's just see if we can see it here in the sun. Alright. Anything yet? <laughs> All right, where are oh, there we go. <laughs> I got my camera too close, haven't I? <laughs> I can see it there, <laughs> and if you can see that, it's it right there. Look at that ice chunk. Ice chunk, that's the best chunk I've got for a few days. Out of here. Beauty, what a beauty. How much is that going to weigh? It's not as heavy as you think though, it's sort of th thinnish. But, um, oh yeah, great, great stuff. Now I'll carry on taking the top off that area over here and uh, see, see if there's anything else in here. Ah, <laughs> that was quite funny. I just swung the detector over the pile again and there's another piece in there. So that'll explain why the sound was sort of fluctuating a bit. I had a feeling there might have been two pieces side by side. <laughs> okay, so sort of hard guys. Alright, scoop. Let's see, it's just here somewhere right against the bank. There you go. Got it first time. Let's see what happens here. Uh, it's good when the sun goes behind the clouds, it's a bit cooler. I can't see it. <laughs> Oh, there we go, I can see it. Yep, that's it there, covered in dirt. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a bit bigger than the other one I think. Oh yeah, nice, nice, very nice. Look at that, <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, stand up. There you go, <laughs> what a beauty. That nice, very nice. Uh, two other oh look, little piece just broke off it there. <laughs> That's quite funny. Little edge there. Which I don't lose him as well. Still not terribly heavy, but marvellous though, marvellous. So this big old stump here has been creaking and cracking sort of all day long. It's on quite a lean. And I don't want to be working underneath it. So I'm just going to give it a little push because I believe it's about to go over any time now. A bit of a breeze or something and I think she'll go. So I'm going to just give it a little bit of a push here. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, there she goes, there she goes. Wow, 
<laughs> Boy, that didn't take much. Heck. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Disturbed a big old nest of termites or something under there. Yeah, you wouldn't want that falling on you. See all the works I've done here. has paid off anyway, so that's good. All these little fellas are going to be sub -grammers. I'll just check out what, what that is. Yep, good, good. Just over a gram. Check out. Okay. Now yeah, let's just see what these big fellas are. Oh yeah, that's nice. Four grams. Good, good. Let's see. Oh, look at that. About the same. So that means this one will be about four as well, or just over four. So. Uh huh. Yep, that's the heaviest. That might be. beautiful <laughs> more than I thought it might be so that's excellent so this is why you don't want to brush up against these shrubs without looking at them first because these green ants they make their nests all over them bind the leaves together and there's hundreds of the things or I should say thousands of them and once you disturb them and they get on you you can get heaps of them all over you and they just bite you for no reason and it's not very pleasant Everything out here wants to bite you or sting you or get you in some way or another. Believe me, I know from experience. Been stung and bitten and all sorts of things that many times. This is quite interesting. I've been going up this small creek for oh, several hours now. And I was about to give up on it because nothing happened apart from digging a whole lot of trash. Rusty tin, nails, horseshoes, all the usual. And I said to myself, I'm going to go just to that tree up there, which is just sort of the end of this little straight. And then I'm heading back to the vehicle, which is going to take me about two hours anyway. Um, but blow me down. <laughs> Next thing I get a signal in against the bank here, straight down here. And I thought it was going to be trash again. I start digging and it's, it's solid. It's like, uh, like calcrete. All the rocks are embedded as if they've been cemented in there so hard. It's ridiculous. And I was getting a bit frustrated because I was thinking, how on earth can the trash have got down into that when it's so solid? I mean, you understand it in the gravel, but not in that stuff. Anyway, <laughs> next thing I smashed off a piece of quartz in there and held it in my hand. And sure enough, it's got prickly gold all through it. So it's all very fine, sort of very prickly. Marvellous. And the rest of the rock piece of quartz is still in the ground. So um, I'll give you a close-up shot of that. But it doesn't show up very well on the camera, unfortunately. However, I'll, um, I'll run the coil over it so you can have a listen to it. So as you can see, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty loud signal. That's the uh, piece that I broke off. So that was the signal from the start. Of course it had the other piece attached to it before, but still a good signal. Well, it's so hard in there, I think I'm going to have to uh, put the camera down and use both hands to dig it, because I don't think I can get it out with one hand, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> You got this nice new pick. I like it. I like it. Very pointy. That's the chunk there, but I mean, I can't sort of uh, scared of breaking the handle. It's just so solid this stuff. It's so solid. Now I'm going to have to use both hands. So unfortunately. I'm going to have to put this down, and I haven't got a stand or anything, so I'll get back to you when I get it out. <laughs> Alright, I got it out, but I ended up smashing some more off it, unfortunately. It's just so hard to get out. Alright, you can see that gold sticking out of there. It's all this part here. It's all a big chunk of gold sticking out of there. And, um... Another one down there, that's all held together, that piece sticking out by 
gold sort of coming, coming through it. It's hard to probably see in the camera, but little bits, you can sort of see bits protruding all through there. It's all prickly. I'm trying to get the focus right, but yeah, it's all through that piece. And there's bits through all of these bits. Very difficult to see, probably. You wouldn't believe it. This creek was completely dry yesterday. I was walking down at metal detecting and I actually found a nice three gram a piece of gold and now it's completely full of water. I was actually going to drive across yesterday and park on the other side over there and of course I'd have been stranded there if I'd have been there now. Unbelievable. Forecast was for thunderstorms but I didn't think there was going to be this much rain. It's just extraordinary. Just poured down all night. I actually saw a snake swimming through here just before. I'm in a big valley where there's a whole mass of old diggings, but it's so overgrown it's just a nightmare. You can hardly get the coil down on the ground. You just get tangled up with all the long grass and crap. But I've been persisting, and yesterday I found a couple of old Chinese coins. But unfortunately they, they've got all the Chinese writing on them, but they don't have a date, or not in English anyway. So it's hard to tell exactly what, how old they are. I suppose you have to look up the, the old Asian writing and maybe work it out from there. But anyway, um, it was driving me nuts this area because it's so, there's just so much trash everywhere. Just rusty tins, old shovels, and just, just a mess. So I was sort of about to give up on it, but I just went over a bit of old mullock heaps here and it's just a little bit clear and not quite so crappy. Got a signal and it was very weird sounding signal. I almost didn't dig it because you just think oh, it's just another bit of rusty tin or something, a horseshoe. But I persisted and I'll show you what happened. So this is what the country looks like. It's a nice valley, but it's just so full of long grass. It's looking up the hill. It's a bit steeper than it looks on camera. Yeah, so you can see how difficult it is to get your coil down. Okay, so there's the hole. Now it's pretty deep, and I was thinking, oh, it's just going to be a tin or a the bottom of an old boot or something like that. But I'll show you what came out. I just put it back in there just for the sake of for this purpose. Right up and kneel down there. That rock there is what came out. The size of that. Now it's not solid gold, unfortunately, but it is heavy. It's very, very heavy. It's got a bit of quartzy sort of stuff in it. But uh, but it's like I say, it's very, very heavy. Got a good percentage of gold in it, I'd say. Anyway, I'll give it a, a bit of a clean with my drink. See if I can um, get a bit more colour shown up. You can see the yellow coming through here like that. All right, so these are the bits I already got this morning first. Sort of another nice chunk there. It's sort of a bit of a specimen-y piece as well. It's got a good weight to it. And three other bits. All right, and I'll just put these down here. So that's those bits. And then we have this fella. Bit of difference in size there, eh? <laughs> now, look at this. I'll bring it into the shade. You can see the yellow all coming through there now. Look at that. Probably a bit hard to see, but there's yellow coming through all of it, all through here. There's bits of it. I'll give it a scrub with my uh, toothbrush later. And yeah, he won't attack the stick. Seems to know that this is just a stick. Apparently there's over 40 species of scorpion in Australia, and they can be found nearly anywhere in the country, but they're not often seen because they're generally only active at night. The funny thing is that while in some countries scorpions can be deadly, here in Australia they're pretty much harmless, apart from a painful sting, and there's not a single recorded death from one here. Which is quite astonishing really, when you consider that Australia has some of the most venomous creatures on earth. 
Okay, so moment of truth. How much does it weigh? Oh, those other little bits I got today also, I forgot to film them. And I weighed them and then I put them straight in a container with my other stuff. And uh, But anyway, they came to just over 9 grams. So now the question is, how much does this weigh? Alright, let's switch her on. It's got to be over an ounce and a half, surely. Because it's really heavy. It's amazing. Alright, let's check it out. Oh, 83. Oh, that's marvellous. That's uh, 2 ounces. Well, an ounce is 31.1 grams. So 2 ounces, 62. So you've got still, you know, 20, 20 grams over two ounces absolutely marvelous this was quite a hard case just before dark this wild pig came walking right past my camp at only about 30 meters away it seemed to pay no attention to me at all which was quite unusual because normally the slightest whiff of human scent will see them bolting the other way oh how's that for funny <laughs> a few days later i found the remains of a rather large boar that had died beside a creek the tusks were quite impressive, so I decided to pull them out and bring them home. Quite a nice pair, really. It's only 7 o'clock in the morning, and it's already very warm. The flies are terrible. <laughs> oh, I've been going for about uh, two hours now, walking. I'm way up high, as you can see in the distance there, probably. All those hills back there, right up on a rocky ridge. I'm trying to get over the back here into a sort of more remote valley. See if there's anything over there. Probably not, but we'll give it a try. Ah, very windy. So that's good. <laughs> I think it's going to be hot one today. Well, I ended up being out for over 13 hours that day and covered a lot of country. I even got rained on at one stage, but luckily it didn't last too long. The gold seemed to be quite few and far between, but fortunately I still did manage to get a few bits, although I didn't end up filming any of them. There you go, that's all I got for today, so pretty happy with that. Last chunk I got was that piece there, nice chunk, and uh, there's about eight others, yeah, that should weigh up fairly well. Had to go a long way for it though, but worth it in the end. Very good, alright. Well, it's pretty much getting towards the end of the season now. Uh, starting to get a bit warm. It's meant to be 41 degrees most of this week, so they say. Uh, well, that's not too bad today. It's a bit of cloud cover, so it's quite good. But it's been a good trip. Can't complain. Found a fair bit of gold. Well, it's been a bit lean the last couple of days. But uh, hopefully I can get a few more bits before I go. Yeah, fantastic. Well after having that last piece in acid for some time, it cleaned up nicely and now weighs just over 2 ounces. While it still contains a small amount of quartz, that actually adds to the overall look of it and gives it some nice contrast. It's turned out to be a beautiful piece and with its size and unique shape makes it a magnificent specimen. And to think at the time I very nearly missed it. Some of these quartz specimens look really spectacular after they're cleaned and yet often when you first pull them out of the ground they just look like a dirty piece of rock only worthy of crushing. Looking at the finished product it's easy to see how they can fetch high prices especially when good specimens can be hard to come by. They say that finding a one ounce nugget is rarer than a five carat diamond and when you delve into the facts it appears that that's quite likely correct. When you consider that just about all the gold mined from the large mining companies comes from hard rock and is crushed then melted down, by comparison only a tiny amount is found in alluvial or placer deposits and usually by much smaller operations or simply by metal detecting. So in other words gold found in nugget form is far more scarce and getting rarer all the time. Here's some old coins I found as well. Most of them date around the mid to late 1800s. Anyway, that's all for now, so take care out there and happy prospecting.